So it is Friday morning, July 2nd. Been building to this day for about three weeks now. I challenged myself to get under 250. Um, been working at it. I was 254 last week, but I was 258 two weeks ago. Um, so let's see if I can knock another four piece off. Um, you know, worked hard. Uh, I will admit 100% transparency. I did go out and run a 10K this morning. Um, just, I mean, I'm, I initially planned to do 10, but um, just chose to do six because I'm gonna squat today. I, my schedule got thrown off this week and I'm not gonna run 10 on a day that I, I do legs, um, but taking off this weekend. So, um, you know, at least wanted to get a decent length run in and um, still get my squats in. So. Let's see where I'm at for the week. So let's go on my Garmin app. There's my run from this morning. Very modest pace, low heart rate run, but it's still six miles. So, you know, I, I know I'll somewhat be dehydrated. Uh, health stats, weight. Let's see where I'm at. I definitely have no regrets. Tried to lose eight pounds in two weeks. Let's see how I did. Wow. I'm really proud of that, man. Really, really proud of that. So came just short, but as I always say, I could still be 258 right now. Two weeks ago, I could have said, man, I can't do that in two weeks. I came down to 250.7. I lost eight pounds in two weeks. Uh, so let's check. 250.7. Oh, this is telling me I lost five pounds since yesterday. I did fast yesterday. Um, body fat 29.7, so dip back under 30. Skeletal muscle mass 93.3. Bone mass 14.4 pounds. And body water 51.3. And it's the all important seven day average. So there is the track for the week. I wish they would reduce the scale on this. I know they want to put the goal weight on there, but I really can't tell what the days are. Um, but my average weight for the last week was 254, 30% of body fat, 28.5, bone mass, 14%. Wow, some, for some reason I shot up yesterday. I was 252 on Wednesday, and that's weird because I fasted yesterday, and on Wednesday... I guess it's, I didn't run. My legs were sore. I ran on Thursday. I ran on Tuesday. But this is my weight for the week. You can see Saturday I went up a lot. I went up three pounds. And then I start to just come down. Um, yeah. And it's a typical pattern for me. Um, but, you know, the, the single important thing. 250.7 body fat under 30 percent bmi 28.1 so great work um you know i set a real stretch goal two weeks ago and like i said i have in my head that i can easily lose weight until i get to 250 and then it's like when i get under 250 it's like I have in my head, it's gonna be impossible to take this weight off. And I recognize that's all mental. You know, I was floating at close to 260 pounds pretty much from the time I came back from New York in mid-May. So, you know, I've seen myself lose 10, 15 pounds in a week from vacation, but most of that comes off in the first three to four days. The fact that this weight was on even two weeks ago, a month after that vacation, you know, lets me know it was it was real weight gain. Um, I really gained some weight. So, you know, made a, a, a fanatic push in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I really had set the goal of getting under 250 by my race, but I know I'm going out of town this weekend. Um, and I just, I wanna be under 250 next Friday so you know that's still the goal but i want to run this race 
my half marathon under 250 pounds. So that was really the impetus for this push. Um, you know, I've decided to go forward with some races and um, I need to get my weight down. Um, the less I'm carrying that 10 pounds, you know, carrying at 10 pounds, 13.1 miles, it makes the journey that much harder. So uh, I need to get my weight down and I'm going 26 twice this year. Uh, I'll get into that a little later, but, uh, you know, I'm going to use my competitive drive, uh, specifically from an athletic perspective. I, I miss competing athletically to, to get me to across the finish line, pun intended, on this goal later this year. I'm running the Chicago Marathon and I'm running the Philadelphia Marathon. So I want to get my weight down another 30 pounds by Philly. So, you know, long summer ahead. A lot of training ahead, a lot of running ahead. And as you can see from my channel, I'm continuing to lift in. I'm not going to just run. I'm going to look to run 40 to 50 miles a week and I'm going to lift three days a week. So that's the path ahead. And I'm going to continue fasting two days a week. And I'm going to continue my whole foods diet and my, my water. Um, so, you know, very happy with the progress of the last two weeks. Um, and I want to make sure I'm going away this weekend. So I know my diet is not going to be great. Um, but I want to maintain this and I want to be under 250 on next Friday morning at this time. So there I've stated it publicly. Um, but great work in the last two weeks to shed that eight pounds. And, you know, as I said, just just keep forging forward. So for now, for Reed Fitness, signing off.